What's up, all my people out there in the land, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Yo, just finishing work. My last job for right now. Probably for the day. But nevertheless, about to go pick up the boys and hit the gym. We ain't been in the gym in a long time, man. I'll get a shout out to uh, my brother Mustafa, the notorious trainer of Atlanta, Georgia. Just want to uh, give him much love for inviting us to his crib. But now, um, I was just thinking, for all y'all perspective, or y'all uh, uh, perspective, or, or all y'all want to be top trainers out there when you're training your kids, keep in mind that, you know, 90% of boxing is, 90% of boxing is skill, Okay skill, hand-eye coordination and, and, and um, technique, skill is, is 90%. So if you don't have the qualifications to teach people new skills, you know, beware that you're teaching your fighter based off of his athleticism. You know, you got the 10% athleticism. And that's all good. Athleticism will get you far. But in reality, you need that skill. And to be the best of the best, you need skills with that athleticism. So keep that in your mind while you're training these young kids. Make sure they balance. Don't have them in there banging each other's head out with their athleticism. Athleticism, you know, you have a guy, he beating up everybody. And you have gym work, everybody working. You're feeling good. You're feeling gratified. But really, y'all just banging each other up with your athleticism. You know, skill is a whole nother ball game. A whole nother ball game. But when you got that skill with the athleticism, then you're tough. Then you don't even want to get hit. You don't want to hit nobody. You want to you wanna just embarrass people. Look fresh. Peace. Ask my way.